All right, let's take a first look at Adobe Illustrator CC. In this section, we're going to create a typography poster using the quote, a smooth C never made a skillful sailor. And you can see I've got a couple variations here of the same quote using similar graphics, but to different results. And we're going to walk through making multiple versions and how to export them. So when it's all said and done, you'll have your very own typography poster. You're welcome to follow along using the assets I've provided or you can create your own with your own quote if you want. So let's dive in. I'm gonna go ahead and close this window to get back to my start screen. I'm gonna come down to presets and create a new document from a letter sized preset. So now this is open, one other thing I'm gonna do, by default I'm seeing my essentials workspace, but I'm gonna hit reset essentials. There's a good chance your screen looks something like this. So real quick, down the left hand side we have all of our tools that we could be working with. From type tools to warp tools, eyedropper tools, shape tools. So feel free to poke around here. And then of course any of these tools that have a little arrow on the bottom right, if you click and hold that means that there's more tools hidden behind there. Depending on the tool you have selected, your options bar will change across the top. I'd call it the HUD or the heads up display, but technically it's called the options bar. And then on the right hand side are various windows that will modify whatever you're working with. There's also library assets and different layers. We can also add even more windows if we come down to the windows panel. There's things like alignment, appearance, artboards, brushes, all kinds of stuff. So usually if you don't see it on the sidebar, you'll find it under this windows tab. So now that we're set there, what I'll go ahead and do on this top right, there's this tiny little double arrow expand panels button. I'll click on that and now I have a better idea of what panels are actually open. Now you might already know what you want to use and if I can uh, put that back and shut that you can see that we've got the shortcuts and that's nice too if you want to keep your artboard minimal and just focus on the artwork. Either way is great but just know that that's there. Now the other thing I want to talk to you about real quick is shortcuts that I'll be using as I walk through because as we get going I want to speed things up quite a bit. I don't want you to have to sit here and listen to me talk. So uh, what I do a lot of times we have the move tool, the selection tool, and uh, basically what that does, if we have objects on our canvas, any kind of shape, if I have the move tool or hit the letter V, I can move that around. So if I have multiple objects here, basically I can just click and drag, no big deal, right? I can drag and select multiple shapes. Okay, that's, that's the move tool. Actually, technically in Illustrator, it's called the selection tool. It's recently been changed to the move tool if you're in Photoshop. So now that we've got that out of the way, the other thing I use a lot is the space bar, and the space bar is a shortcut to get the hand tool. Now I could just hit the letter H to get my hand tool, but then I'm stuck using it. Let's say I was on the type tool, letter T, and I want to just move things real quick just to see more of my canvas. Well, I can hold down the space bar, move a little bit, and then let go of the space bar, and I'm back to the previous tool I was using. So I use that one a lot too. The other shortcut I use frequently is while holding down the space bar, I'll hold down the command key as well, or if you're on a PC, hold down that control key and it turns into your zoom tool. And again, I could have just hit the zoom or the Z for the zoom tool, but it's faster as I'm working to just hit these modifier keys in time. So I've got the type tool, I'll hit space bar to get my move tool. Now I'll hold down command with that space bar to zoom in a little bit, look at some details, make sure it's what I want. And then I can add the Alt key to that to zoom back out. So now I've got Spacebar, Command, and Alt. Okay, so I'm going to zoom through this as fast as I can. The other shortcut that's really handy, if I've got my type tool, I can just hold down just the Command key. And that'll default to my selection tool. And as soon as I let go of the Command key, it comes back to whatever previous tool I had selected. So that's the way we're going to be working through a lot of these things, just so you know what's going on. All right, what I'm going to do is come up here to View. I'm going to come back and fit artboard to window, command zero, to bring that up full size so I can see the entire artboard as big as I can without getting cropped off. All right, let's go ahead and save our progress here, which really all we've done is created a new document and talked about shortcuts. But let's go ahead and save this, and in the next lesson, we're going to learn about working with fonts and typography.